I mean, there are many books that stand out, and um, but there's one thing in particular that stands out, and it's a short story. Hemingway's short story, Big Two-Hearted River, which I read when I was 14 or 15, on my own, just, you know, as kind of a lit nerd kid. And, um, and I remember reading that story and getting to the end of it, and, um, you know, ha and I had two reactions. Number one, nothing seems to have happened. And number two, I'm flattened by it. You know, it, it just, I feel like I've been through something profound. And yet, what exactly was it? Because in that story, it's Nick Adams. He takes the train out into the wilderness, gets off the train, hikes deeper into the wilderness, sets up camp, and the next morning he goes fishing. I mean, not a whole lot happens. And yet, everything seemed to happen. And so, um, you know, with that came, came the beginnings maybe of consciousness or awareness. I mean, a, a 14 or 15-year-old young man um, has the ha, probably has the consciousness of say like a half bright dog you know that kind of wanders from room to room or you know yard to yard not really sure what he's doing or or, or just it's just pure consciousness very little self-awareness or 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 sense of context and i think certainly i was like that you know as an adolescent boy but reading hemingway it's as if things suddenly snapped into focus um or began to and Hemingway and our, our relationship has had many ups and downs since, um, since that first encounter, but um, that story was the beginning for me. I got intense pleasure out of it, and I suppose on some level as I continued to read Hemingway, it dawned on me, well, if you, you can get this much pleasure out of reading it, m you know, think of how much more pleasure you, you'll get if you can do it yourself. And so maybe that was the start.